As a quarterback, what was my favorite coverage to throw against? I'm going to tell you in just a second, and it might surprise you. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Today, I want to talk about what my favorite coverage was to throw against. I was coaching my quarterbacks the other day, and one of them asked me, he said, Hey, coach, what was your favorite coverage to throw against? And I said, obviously, all of them. But then I thought about it, and that wasn't quite true. So I'm going to tell you what my favorite coverage was and why. But first, if you're new to the channel, if you love football content, you like talking X's and O's, you like looking at college game film, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. That way you get notified every time we have new content coming out. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to talk some pass coverage, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to hear. We've had some great comments lately, starting to make some videos to respond to those comments. Also, please share this channel out. We're trying to help as many young athletes and young quarterbacks as we can, and so the more we can grow this channel, the more lives we can affect, more people we can help, and that's the goal of EliteAthletesTV.com. Now, let's talk coverage. So when my quarterback asked me, and I said every coverage, I thought about it for a second, and I said, well, that's not true. One coverage I hated throwing against was two-man, and I don't understand why more teams don't use this as their prevent defense. Two-man, if you cannot run the football, is a long day for a quarterback. You got four guys covered across underneath, two safeties over the top to help, and one extra linebacker probably to help out in coverage as well. And so windows are tight. You got to be really good with the ball, tough to beat. And if your dudes aren't better than their dudes, then you're going to have a long day back there trying to throw it. That said, what was my favorite coverage? And I'm going to have to say man, some form of man. And I played with Durwood Rockmore. He was a coach in Albany uh, when I first got back there. And he was one of the greatest defensive backs in the history of the Arena Football League. And he used to call it dude coverage because – you would go out and say, I got that dude, I got that dude, and I got that dude, whoever it was playing man coverage. The reason teams play man coverage is it allows them to be more sound in the run game. If you can lock up each receiver individually, man to man, you can commit more guys to the box and shut down the run. And so if you have an effective running game and you don't match up dude for dude at that receiver to DB spot, that's also going to be a long day. So Man-to-man -man is my favorite coverage to throw against, all things being equal, meaning my dudes are as good as their dudes. The other reason teams do it is because they're trying to create negative plays on offense. So a defense will line up, and they will bring pressure to either get a sack, force a quarterback into a bad throw, uh, or a throw and a tackle, say a third long situation, bring blitz coverage so a quarterback has to dump it hot and they can tackle it short and stop the first down. Nowadays in college football, you're seeing a lot more man or what they call match coverage. The reason is it allows you to be more sound against the RPO where quarterbacks now have an option. It used to be that the quarterback was back there and he was the one player the defense could count out. So they would be playing 11 guys on defense versus 10 on offense. But now with the RPO and more active quarterbacks, it's now 11-on-11, 11 11, and so they have to play more match coverage to be able to shut down that RPO and have somebody there to be sound against the run. Let's take a look at my NFL playbook. We'll take a look at some coverages, and I'll talk about why I like throwing most against man coverage. First up, we'll just take a look at basic cover one. This is 21 personnel, so two backs, one tight end in here. And this base set, base defense, 3-4 look. And cover one, just like it sounds, single high free safety. I have a video on it. I will put a card up at the top of the screen so you can check out cover one. But essentially, you're just locked up, man, strong safety, tight end. You, they have the peg or the will taken back depending on the release. If back releases through the line, peg will take him. If back swings, will will take him here. So a little combo coverage outside, corner locked up, free safety, free in the middle of the field. If they play at press, then... People often think, oh, you can hit the deep ball, hit the go ball, which is true. If they're going to come down and press and you think your dude's going to win, that's a good shot on either side. But what's also great is runaway routes, routes where either receivers are running away from DBs, flats across, you got to be aware of this guy, uh, on deep crossers, or routes like the storm or sail route where 
you have the go on the outside and your Y matched up, bigger physical body running that out. So really good against man coverage. And as a quarterback, there isn't a ton to read. If you know you have man straight across, even cover one, you go back, you pick your mismatch and win and throw the ball. So that's just pitch and catch against cover one. Now cover 10. And all cover 10 was in our playbook back then was cover one with just a three-man rush, which means you get eight guys back in coverage. So solo it up on the outside. Combo coverage between Mike and Sam and Peg and Will on the backs. Strong safety, mano a mano on the tight end. And rock and roll. So same rules apply for the backers. Back swing, Sam takes him. Back check through, inside backer takes him. Same rules, same routes work. Go routes work. Corner routes work. No extra pressure here, right? So corner routes are great. Comebacks are fantastic against man coverage if you can convince them that you're running that go route. So a lot of things work against this, against off, even timing outs, timing digs at that 12-yard mark work fantastic. Just got to be aware and know where your backs are in terms of where those linebackers are going to be. And again, the same thing with that sail route on the inside or the go with the corner route by the Y. If you have a matchup you like, take your shot. Now let's talk about something a little more exotic. Nowadays, it's called cover zero, which I like that verbiage better. Back then, it was called blitz coverage. In this case, you have a Sam Will dog. And so Sam is coming on the blitz or dog. Will is coming on the dog. And you go straight man all the way across the board. Free safety locked up on the H. Mike locked up on the fullback corner locked up on the X. Now, you know as a quarterback, because they are bringing, A, these three guys are always coming, but they're bringing Sam, Will, and Peg. Now you have six. So six, if you're blocking with your standard five in terms of O-line, and you have two backs in, you can pick it up, no problem, and you end up with one-on-one routes out here against corners and strong safeties. I love this as a quarterback. If I know I've got it picked up, I can take the pressure. I've got backs that can block. Now I'm going to get a shot against cover zero. And with cover zero, what you get is one route can be a winner that can go to the house. I could run simple slant here. And if we beat this corner clean, that thing's to the house. Am I getting pressure? Yeah, I'm getting extra pressure. And so I've got to pick my matchup. I've got to know where to go with the ball. I've got to be accurate with the ball because there's likely going to be in tight coverage. But it could be a cross. It can be a corner like we just talked about. In this case, no free safety in the middle because he's over covering the H. How about that deep post out combo? Something like that. So cover zero. If I protect myself, I know what I see. Take my shot. Find my matchup. Good to go. So blitz coverage was actually my favorite coverage to throw against. If I saw cover zero, I knew I could take it. Had this against University of Washington when I played back at Cal. Everybody was scared of their blitz. I said, bring it on. And we got Sean Dawkins up against Dana Hall. And we put it on him for six points. Take a look now against a couple more exotic looks in terms of blitzes. And couple here you get your mic dog covered up corner strong safety on your tight end free safety on your h everybody else is coming and they slide the wheel over to try to cover the fullback again that four two look inside or four three look with sam up on the line of scrimmage and coming so again you are soloed up across all you have to do is win in one of these four spots and you are in business. The other thing that you get too is you will get a matchup now with a back on a linebacker. So that can be a huge shot for you as well. If you like that mismatch with a more nimble guy in that back spot against a linebacker who doesn't who isn't generally comfortable covering man to man, that could be a shot for you as well. So cover zero different look. Now, just like we saw that Sam Will dog before, you're going to get it here from double slot dog. Walk guys out, give you that two-man look, and then sneak down, 
and bring outside pressure, which means you're going to have six guys coming. They have full contain in terms of run. And again, your mano a mano, four ways across the board, one, two, three, and four. And so as a QB, you can pick this up, pick this up with protection, strong here, slide these three, work back to these three, make sure you get your check in so that you slide your tackle to the outside and you're good to go. You are left to manage the mic. So as long as you know how to protect yourself, and as long as you trust that you can hold up in protection, cover zero is without a doubt the best coverage to throw against. Now, the term cover zero or blitz coverage kind of tends to make a lot of quarterbacks nervous, but you should really look at it as an opportunity. This is a big play shot. As a quarterback, you need to be hyper competitive in everything you do. And if you're going to get blitz coverage, here's your chance to beat the defense at their own game. If you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Same thing when it comes to blitzing. You live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. And as a quarterback, I was always trying to make teams pay when they wanted to try to pressure me. Remember, crossers, timing routes, big play balls, simple as a slant, simple as a runaway, can win big against cover zero. So let's just talk about a little bit of coverage. What I like to see when I was in the pocket if you liked what I did here today, if you dig talking about football, if you dig talking X's and O's, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. That way, we'll let you know every time we have a new video coming out. Give me a thumbs up if you understand more about Cover Zero, Blitz Coverage, and why I like man coverage so much. And leave me a comment down below. We would love to hear from you. would love to make a video if you have an interesting question for me. Also, please remember, share this video out. The more we can share this out, more quarterbacks, more football players, more athletes' lives we can affect, and we're trying to improve lives across the board. I appreciate you watching. Love talking coverages. Love talking to you at home, and I'll talk to you again soon.